Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Linda Squad? I am playing Kronos, and I am going to be tryharding. The reason for it is my opponent has higher MMR than me, and it is Aiden Moment. He's a set main. All he does is play set and duel, and he's a good player. Obviously, he's probably... I'd say most of the time he's over 3,000 MMR, so he's definitely a good player. So this should be an intense game, and I did, like I said, I want to show you guys... An actual intense game where I play Kronos. And fun fact, Aiden is actually on my team in the Master of Slash tournament this weekend. An enemy has left the game. So uh it'll be pretty fun. I am gonna go back. I don't wanna I don't wanna be that guy. Oh, I just pause. Um Well Since he DC, I guess I will say um my twenty four hour stream. I know I've been publicizing it, but I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, is on the 18th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> there will be a pinned comment down below to my stream and to all the incentives we are doing in-game and overall. And um, don't forget to subscribe and also like the video because charity. There you go. Let's see. All right. We're good to go. We're good to game. It'll be a bit of a tough one because I do know that he loves uh, playing set and you know if you're fighting someone who loves the character they're on it, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Oh unlucky. Yeah very good damage on him though. I didn't get the red because that's secure, but very good damage. You got it too, dude? Are you serious? Oh, very close. Very, very close. Holy... Holy guacamole, that was insane. Alright. Dude, already. Already in very a very intense game. Now that's what I call a Just from uh the first two buffs. You got beads, but I had the shell. Very, very intense. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for games like this. It's not every day that I fight someone who... Uh, in fact, it's not even every week that I fight someone who has higher MMR that's a good player. So, um, it should be pretty fun. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, he ults. I think I am chilling here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Another close call, but good nonetheless. Actually, I think what I will do is just get this wave. We will say it's probably pretty easy for him to kill me right here. Oh, he, uh, he already got these. All right. Go back and grab this and this. And even though I'm up two kills, I'm only up, what, 400 gold? I'm excited for how this game is going to turn out. I will say level 20, I'm pretty sure he beats me. Because the Eye of the Jungle upgrade is nuts. But uh, then again, I have mannequins, so who knows? My damage is really nice right now. I should be able to get all the buffs that I want to get right now. Because I am putting in enormous pressure on him. So I should be in the clear for this. I will say for the, for the blue buff, I might not be in the clear, but we'll see. He finished Transcendence. His damage is going to be wild. Ow. 
Ow. So I'll tell you what his goal is right now. His goal is to poke me to the point where I, uh, even after ulting, will not be comfortable with the fight. Perfect. Perfectly played by me. I think the, the biggest thing about knowing what to do in Smite or winning games in Smite, it's not even knowing your character in and out, which is important, by the way. But I think the main thing is knowing what your opponent wants to do with his character. Like me knowing that I was that I had to use my two in order for the extra HP regen because I know he wants to poke me and then all in. The fact that I knew that and I and I knew what to do and how to counter it and that I had to ult slightly early because of the burst damage and everything like knowing these things is what wins you the game. I'm actually slightly surprised that he didn't go for me there. And I could have gone breastplate. I will eventually go breastplate, but right now because I'm what like 600 gold almost 700 gold up. Um I'm going to just try to roll with the damage output at the moment. I don't know if it's the right play, to be honest, but it's going to be fun nonetheless. And the fact that he still doesn't have a defensive relic means that me going offense here and relying on my relic is going to be better during fights than him going offense with no uh, defensive relic. So he's kind of gatekeeped himself into a defensive item. Whereas I have the option to go damage here. My damage is nice. Even with his tier 2 defense. Feeling quite good. I do have alt up. So if he wants to go crazy on me, he can. It won't kill me. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it chill. Keep it chill right here. Nothing too spectacular happening. Go get my Telkines. All that from a mile away. Again, what he wants to do is poke me to lower me, and that's that's what he's doing right now. Trying his best. Landing that auto there was actually really stupid. Reason being, I could have done a ton of tower damage had I not uh, hit him and tower re-aggroed to me. So, slight misplay by me. But still a misplay nonetheless. Can't really be doing that in uh, GM games. He is back. Hopefully he doesn't stop mine. If he stopped my back there, it would have been tragic. All right, I got my Telkines. I got my tier one defense. He got Bulwark. I'm going to have to go into some anti-heal here. Either with my Relic or with my items. Toxic Blade, obviously. Divine, obviously. All good options. Um, Relic-wise, what I'm thinking is actually an Ankh, though. If I go Ankh... It allows me to only go either Divine or Toxic and not need to go both. Imagine landing autos. Could not be me. Jeez Louise. Perfect. Um, that's actually really good for me. And let me tell you why. That exact reason, actually. Because if I can shell while he sells all those minions up. Oh, he's got beads, right? Oh, man. The Bulwark Shield. The Bulwark Shield got me. I actually forgot about that shield. Also, dude, I don't know. Ankh is, is so good, but like... I feel like just getting a sprint and running away from him might even be better. I think I'm just going to go sprint instead. And if he ults me, just run. Straight up, just use my two and run. He did my blue and cleared the wave. Now he's going back. Um, That is fine. I'm going to go do Bull Demon. He doesn't have the HP to stop it. He will try to get here in time. 
I don't know if he's going to be able to. My damage isn't very hot, so he might be able to, honestly. I don't want to use my three because I need it for him if he shows up. I'll use my two for the HP regen because obviously. And he actually went thorns, which I don't agree with. Let me see. Don't have ult for another 10 seconds. But I do really, really want to take this. He's getting beat stick right now. So he just hit a power spike. <coughs> um, I more than likely cannot actually do this. But his three is down on his ult, so I'm not scared of this. He's probably just going to teleport past me to try to clear wave. Mm. Yeah, he's just proxying. Not much I can do about that. In fact, there's nothing I can do about that. So I kind of just have to let it happen, which sucks. But maybe I can still get tower. Just because I'm Kronos. I mean, he is desperately trying to save this tower. Oh, nice. Okay. He wasn't expecting the shell there. The shell is what caught him off guard. And hopefully I can grab this blue and the XP camp and my blue off of that kill. And make a complete recovery off of that blunder I had where he just kind of crapped on me and then got all three buffs and then, you know, did things. <laughs> um, I'm going to go probably Toxic Blade. Just because I think the attack speed might be better for me than the damage from Divine. I could be completely wrong, but that's just how I feel at the moment. I teleported over the wall, so stun maybe. Perfect. He doesn't have his three, which makes me not scared of this fight. Perfect. We got his thorns and his alt for just an alt. That's very good. I don't need to tell you why that's good. Um, I will see if maybe I mean, that was that was good damage. That was actually very good damage. I want to make sure that I can do bull demon. The main thing here is my toxic blade, which is 1250, right? Oh, it's 1650. Jesus. I'm an idiot. Also, you know what I could do that I just realized? Is instead of going the sprint that gives me like, you know, sprint powers, the hasten uh, effect, I can just do the one that gives me a root. And that way he would have to, he would have to beads that and then I can three him. And I do a ton of damage to towers, so what's good. He ulted. I'm just going to sprint away then. And alt back, and I'm good to go. Oh, hello. I didn't think you'd show up. Um, can he kill me here? I actually don't think he can. Nice. That was really good. I used my two for to main i use my two to maintain mana um i use my two to maintain mana and then i also use my shell at the perfect time right before his one hit me to completely bait him into a fight that's gonna give me red mannequins did 830 nutty it's nutty i do want to go toxic blade like i said 
And then I'm going to try out this... Um, this root sprint. Because if he does ult me like that, he's not immune to roots. And his ult. He is immune to slows, but... Basically, he'll ult me. I'll pop sprint. And, uh... And he either has to beads the root from the sprint... Or just completely disengage. Oh. Teleported in. Unexpected. Oh. Nice. Ah. Uh, nice teleport. I think we both played that fight perfect, honestly. Me with the perfectly timed alt and him with the perfectly timed teleport. My damage is so good right now, though. And obviously for my last item, I'm going to get the attack speed rod of the hootie. Nah, he probably has ult. It's dumb of me to try to fight that. That's fine. And I got my upgraded mannequins here, which is going to make me extremely tanky. Well, not extremely, but much more tanky than I was. It'll make me much more tanky than I was and do much more damage. I do have my shell and my ult up ready for his next ultimate. And I do have Bull Demon for another 50 seconds. So this tower... You know... It, Assuming I don't completely butcher what I have to do, this tower should go down. But, you know, I am me. There's always the option that I butcher. Um, I did not get the kill on him, but I did get his ult. I did get his ult and his beads, and I didn't use anything. That is very, very good. That is very, very good. Yeah, my mannequins plus this Telkine. That is pumping numbies right now. He's got no beads, so this could just straight up kill him. Yep, there it is. And that is game. The, uh, the upgraded mannequins does just too much tick damage. Just does too much tick damage. Let's see. Yeah, tw I did a thousand damage. Third loss on set. How many wins? 24. 24 and 3 is not a bad record. Not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. It's not every day, like I said. Like, you'll see here, I'll get 100 TP or 100 MMR from him. Uh, GG, Giga Gamer. Not every day we meet, and I'm not memeing. <laughs> not every day we meet, and I'm not meaning, memeing. Thanks for the fun. Yeah, at tourney this weekend, my boy. Also at the 24 hour. Um... Yeah, so I guess that's that. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like I said, it's not every day I get to do a try hard game that's not on Thursday where I'm just getting five minute surrenders, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.